What is good, YouTube? I am Ethan back here with the Kitchen Sink with another heavily, heavily requested video. We're going to check out the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. Best goals, the top 10 list. It's about five minutes long, so it's not as long a video. Though I do think I'm probably going to pause it a lot because I have a feeling there's a lot of guys on this video that you're going to want me to check out. And I kind of want to know, you know, so make sure you drop that down in the comments. I've been reading comments more than ever right now with the channel growth. Thank you so much for whatever amount of subs we're at right now. 60 some thousand that just wow dude seriously thank you so much it's it's incredible make sure you guys check out my twitch channel as well i stream live over there all the time uh, i play fifa interact with you guys you interact with me we have a blast it really is a fun it's a fun time man i'm not very good so i, I interact with the chat more than all the pros and stuff but also check out the kits down in the description 10 percent off with my code free shipping all over the world make sure you do check it out it supports me that 10 percent actually goes towards the channel which really does help me out a lot and uh you know they're just nice i love wearing these they're very comfortable but let's get into it the top 10 goals 2018 fifa world cup held in russia first up tony cruz germany versus sweden Original links in the description, by the way. You're telling me this is number 10 right off the bat like that from the... He's from the very edge of the box. So you don't have that much of an angle. You don't have that much of a margin to be able to miss, you know? Wow. Okay, that's number 10. An inspirational moment from Tony Gross. For when they're down, when they are tested, they find a way to win. That's the peep that's the person people want me to check out right there. That opposite rotation, man. I, I forgot that someone explained this to me on a stream, what the term was for it. But I already forgot it. I want to call it a screwball so bad because that's what it is in baseball. But I'm just going to say opposite foot. Like it's off the opposite side of his foot. So it gets that rotation. You don't expect it. You know, it catches a lot of goalkeepers off guard. Perfect placement. That's pretty much impossible to stop. That jersey's sick. That kid is sick, dude. I desperately need to do a video on Lukaku, okay? I know he didn't score that goal. He had the fake right there, step over the ball rather than kick it. Dude, I know he's a very smart guy. People want me to react to him so bad. There's just so many people, you know? Let me know who you guys want me to down in the comments. Also, Courtois, the goalkeeper, people want me to react to him as well. There's a ton, man. I can't wait to just continue this journey. I do have a blast doing it. Let me beat five defenders and then catch a goalkeeper completely off guard. The goalkeeper had literally no idea that was coming to him, man. He had no clue because he didn't expect him to shoot that. Wow. That was uh that was pretty impressive and 
Modric is right there too. I don't get it, man. I just don't understand how they get the ball to curve like that so much. Years and years of practice. And I know Ronaldo practices harder. He practices harder, if not like 10 times harder than anyone else out there. He's a robot, man. He goes out there and he practices, 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 and it's paid off for him. But still, it's a ball, man. And it only has so much time to move, but yet they can get it to move so many feet to the left, the right, down, up. Not so much up, kind of like a floater, but, you know, they get it to drop a lot. I just, it's just magical, man. Some of the people in this sport are just magical. I don't understand it. Look at that. It just, it's like a sinker. Yeah, Croatia had a pretty solid team, but they, I think they finished second. France won. France, Mbappe, they won. But Modric won tournament player, right? He won the, the award for the best player in the tournament. I'm pretty sure that's true, that's right. Because a lot of people wanted someone on France to win. But Luka Modric had like a crazy good World Cup, which, you know, if you have an amazing World Cup, why wouldn't you win player, the best player in the tournament? I don't, I'm trying to think of the award. Is it FIFA Player of the Year? That can't be it because that's player of the year, not the World Cup. We're just going to say the best player in the World Cup for now. So Quintero, can he deliver? Under the wall and in! Colombia a level and Quintero! I've never seen anything like that. I've never saw a free kick underneath the wall and go in like that, actually. Out of all the videos I've watched now, I don't even think in the top 20 free kicks video that I did yesterday, two days ago, I don't think that that happened. I don't think a single one went across the ground like that. That's genius. Wow, that kind of blew my mind. What a goal, dude. What a video. I can't believe I didn't watch the whole World Cup. Just thinking that I missed the World Cup by literally a month, man. I started making videos on football a month after the World Cup. And now I got to wait years for it again. Unbelievable on my part. But there we have it. The top 10 goals of the 2018 FIFA World Cup what a freaking show man hopefully this video doesn't get blocked it is fifa's official channel so if you want to watch the original video i'll have a link down in the description hopefully they don't block it but if it does i'll figure out a way to get it up for you guys i hope you enjoyed this make sure if you want a kit you check out the link in the description and use my code 10 percent off you get some nice kits you also get free shipping very good price and it supports the channel as well also big one man 
follow my Twitch. Even if you don't like video games, it's a great place to ask me questions, interact with me, just talk. You've seen me post about it on this channel before, but I'm being serious. And I want to get partnered on Twitch too, just in case something ever happens to this channel, I have somewhere to let you guys know where, what's going on with the channel, what's going to happen next. It really does, you know, provide a little bit of security. With reaction channels, you always have to worry about copyright and stuff like that. So it, it can happen. This channel could get shut down any day, which is why I try to tell you guys to follow my social medias and my Twitch and everything else. But drop a sub, turn notifications on. Peace. Have an awesome day.